Hello everyone, this is Rahmat here. Today I'm going to show you how you can stretch your stencils. As you might have heard about stretch your stamps, but today is all about stencils. And uh, if you really follow my blog or Instagram or Facebook page or anywhere, I'm everywhere on social media, you would see I love using stencils. And I have many different ways to use, so mostly I stick with sponging, sometimes I do other things. So today I'm going to show you three ways. The first way is the normal sponging, which everyone of us most frequently what we do is we all sponge it. So I don't have to show it, but since I'm doing this tutorial, so I just thought why not. So just bear with me, I'm not going to show full cards here, today only the techniques. So. You can just see and I'm going to post the cards later to the blogs. So this one is just a plain sponging. You can add many different layers of inks here, many colors. But today I'm just going to show you guys only with one color. And this stencil is very, it's uh, called rays, so sun rays, assume. And that's it. See that? It would make very good starbursts also for you. So that's the stencil, uh, stenciling. I've used uh, Hero Arts and Neon Ink Sunshine. So this is my first way. Just normal everyone does this one. So that's the stencil way. And before I start I want to clean up this stencil a bit. So what you do is I just use baby wipes. Nothing else. So wipe your stencil and it's good to go. The next step is I'm going to use is um, embossing. So let's show you. Dry emboss your stencil. Let me pull out my scan and cut. I hope you guys can see. Yes. So I'm not going to remove anything. I have all three plates in uh, folders. So the top one is the thin lid one with all three. So that's one. That's the one I'm going to use today. So it will be a little bit tight, but you will get the very good imp impression with that. So as usual, just put your paper and then put the stencil on top and the other plate on top and it will be a little bit tight but it's okay you can just run it it's actually going pretty smooth so that is it let me put this away I hope you can see the print here. Uh, this one doesn't show off very well. I think I chose not the right size paper. I chose this textured cast off. But anyways, I have another one. This one was a plain white paper. Oh, back side is even better. So what I did was I just put the stencil and embossed it. Dry embossed it. Using the Big Shot. And then I've used the newer Gold Mousse. So it just sponge the... Um, gold here I am unable to tell yeah I think you can see this shimmer here so that's the beautiful shimmer you get so this is two two of your ways so this one is not that visible so what you can do is if you think you are not getting it right embossed uh, I would suggest uh, add some more card stocks underneath so it will give it more uh, yeah, it will just make it thick and you will get the embossing well. So that's what you need to do. So two ways done. The first one was um, the sponging and second is the embossing. And the third one I'm going to do is, um, you all might have heard the term stencil monoprint. So where we 
use what we do is we use sprays and stencils I don't have a protective mat this is my working mat I don't use for cutting or anything so I work here and I clean the mat later so if you do have a working mat then that's good cover it up or your working area please cover it up I, I'm not going to bother my table can be cleaned very well everything can be cleaned so what you need here is sprays I'm using two different types of sprays sprays one is the distressing mode lawn and this one is Mr. Hue is color mist ocean so these are two different tones you can use one also I'm just being a little bit experimental and I want to use two just not a lot here and there and this one comes the and what you want to do is you are good as it is or you can just use um, some mist also I am just going to use a little bit of mist not a lot and you've seen I've sprayed two one is the green and, and the other one is the turquoise and all I'm going to do is take the cardstock and just leave it there I'm not going to leave it sorry just press it and ready one two three lift it so that's going to be beautiful I did not spray much here so that's why you have very little ink but again it gives a very good background for whatever you want to make for your projects whether it's cards or scrapbooking or any mixed me mixed media artwork so I still want to cover up that completely I'm just going to get my fingers dirty here which I don't do it's okay so it's that easy So how you do is, oh maybe I turn now. Just going to take it, drop it, and just press so that your cardstock gets the ink, and then lift it. Ah, oh, this one is beautiful. So that's it. I think I sprayed too much of uh, mist, but it's okay. I'm loving the colors here. So I hope you do try. As I said, I'm not going to do any cards here today. It's just the techniques. And I hope you have enjoyed all three techniques here. The first one, of course, I don't need to tell. Everybody does the sponging. And the second one also, I've seen many people do that. So you can do this also. On dry embossing using stencils two and the third one is the stencil monoprint I'm not going to clean it up I'm just since it's already up I want to get as much as ink on the paper why waste ink but I'm going to stop the video here and you will see if I will be probably using some of the backgrounds which I've made now on God uh, on the projects on the blog post blog post so stay tuned in and look at the cards what I made there and thank you for watching